Hey everybody, we're the Scots. We live in our RV and travel full time. And today I'm going to show you how to cook pumpkin chili. In our tiny little kitchen. In our tiny little kitchen with the Instapot. <laughs> it's going to be great. And yes, he said pumpkin and chili together. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. In February. What? <laughs> the ingredients for pumpkin chili are as follows. We will need four and a half tablespoons of chili powder, fresh ground black pepper and fresh ground sea salt to taste, one and a half to two cloves of uh, freshly minced garlic or the pre-minced as you can see here. I'm using a pound of lean ground beef. Now you can use a pound of the ground turkey as well. It just depends on your uh, meat of choice for the night. We're gonna chop up one each of these beautiful peppers and a medium onion. We got a little extra virgin olive oil, some fresh pack, packed pumpkin, some chili beans and some black beans and chili sauce, as well as the great northern beans and fire roasted diced tomatoes. So let's throw it all together and see how it goes. All right guys, so the first step we're gonna take is we're gonna throw our meat, um, in my case, the pound of ground beef. We're gonna toss that in the Instant Pot and set it on saute, probably at about medium. That way we can start browning the beef while we actually cut up the vegetables. Now, as we cut up the vegetables, we're gonna add them in with the beef. So, we'll place the beef in. I'm gonna press the saute button. And I'm going to press adjust. And make sure that it's on normal because I don't want the uh, beef to burn. It'll beep and it will start to saute the, uh, the beef. Did you need to break it up or anything in there? Yes, I'm going to let it warm up just a little bit first. Okay. Let it start cooking it and then I'll break it up. Alrighty. While that's starting to go, I am going to cut these vegetables up. Any particular way that you will be cutting them? Um, if you've watched my cooking videos before, you might have seen my um, diced onion video. So we will be utilizing that today, except um, I'm not going to be dicing it nearly as small. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I cut peppers. Great. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how I cut a pepper and dice a pepper. So I come around the top and I trace around the crown of the pepper. Then I give it a little twist and I pull it out. Now we don't want any seeds in the pepper or in the pan when we start to cook because they actually make things kind of bitter. So we're gonna- Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so we're gonna take these seeds aside now, also these white parts that you normally see in peppers as well, they do kind of make the flavor a little bit bitter as well. So I will show you how I take care of that. I cut off the pepper butt. Now you can save these for stock if you like. Pepper butt. <laughs> I like to just come in here and lightly shave out this white piece. You're also so fast. take some of the, uh, the seeds with it. And so a little bit deeper. I'll do it on the other side as well. And now what I'll do, you really cut like a chef. Except when I almost cut off my fingers. Now we're gonna want these just a little bit bigger because they're going in a chili. We don't want the two, the dice to be too small. There we go. Now I'm going to stir the beef and then I'm going to actually add the peppers as I cut them. Now I'm using extra lean beef, so there's not going to be much fat in this pan to really cook the peppers and the onions with. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil so we have a little fat medium there to start sauteing our vegetables in. Makes sense. Okay, now that I've given that beef a good stir, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the peppers that I've already cooked, or that I've already cut. And I'll just continue to do this as I go. Now 
I love that you can saute in this pan too. I really do too. And then just start cooking after that. It it's saves a lot of time and a lot of dishes. energy. <laughs> dishes. <laughs> yeah. As the dish doer, I like that part. Now we got all the peppers in. Now we're gonna roughly dice that onion and add that in as well. Oh, it got real steamy. Oh yeah, I see you diced these a lot bigger this time. I guess that's chopping, not dicing. Yes. I'm learning cooking terms. There you go. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all the peppers and the onion in here, we're gonna let this sweat for probably about five, ten more minutes until the onions are starting to become translucent. So we're sauteing on medium, you said? That is correct, on normal. Okay. So it's been about 10 minutes, and as you can see, my onions are starting to look slightly transparent. Oh, looks good. I know, right? So we're actually gonna cook this for probably two more minutes, but before we do that, we're gonna add our garlic. Ooh. And so it calls for about a, go a one clove of minced garlic. Personally, I like more garlic, so I'm probably gonna go with more around two cloves of minced garlic. Yeah, we like garlic in this family. Which to me is about a heaping spoonful like that. I like big garlic. Mm. I've never eaten something where I said, oh, this has too much garlic in it. <laughs> that just doesn't really happen to me. And so now I'm going to let this cook for another minute or two. I don't want this garlic to burn. So I do recommend staying around, keeping an eye on it. And so it really won't take long. You can already start to smell the garlic exploding its oh, flavor yes, into the can. beautiful mixture. And you know what, this is actually cooking hot enough to where I think just about 30 seconds will do it. And so now I'm gonna turn the Instant Pot off because I want it to stop cooking. And now I'm gonna start adding some of my other stuff. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to add my fire roasted tomatoes first because I want it to cool down this mixture. I don't want it to keep cooking too much. And so I add the entire can undrained. I'm going to give it a good stir because I want this mixture to cool down and quit cooking. So there you go. Just give it a good toss. Okay. You look cute when you're cooking. Thank you. <laughs> um, now I'm going to gra grab my uh, Great Northern Beans. I'm going to add those, undrained as well. And then my black beans and chili sauce. That makes this so good. Yes, it does. That was really the, the thing that made this recipe better for us from the original, is getting black beans and chili sauce instead of just regular black beans. I agree. That was a little little genius you came up with. Oh, a little something I found at the store. So now we're going to add four and a half teaspoons. I, I believe I may have said tablespoons earlier on in the recipe. Uh-oh. But it is four and a half teaspoons of chili powder. And this is a nice conservative amount for someone like me who doesn't do spice. You can adapt this to your taste. That's correct. And I'm going to give this a good stir. And then we're going to add the final ingredient, pumpkin. which is the pumpkin. Now I wanted to say, while he's stirring this, I wanted to say about the canned pumpkin. This is not pumpkin pie filling, so if the only time you use pumpkin is making pumpkin pie, this is going to be a different product. This is nothing but pumpkin, just the straight up vegetable or fruit or whatever you consider pumpkin to be. Um, a gourd. A gourd. It's not um, sweetened or have any flavor of any kind. This is just straight pumpkin. And uh, this is a great alternative for people that... Sorry, there you go. People that can't really handle red chilies because of the acidity of all the tomato. Because usually in a red chili, you're going to have tomato paste, tomato sauce, and the tomatoes itself. Um, and that's kind of a lot of tomato product. And I have a friend who can't handle that, which is why I it's found this acid. recipe with the pumpkin. So that's a different base to your chili. You do have tomatoes in here, but not too many. And the main part of your chili is going to be the packed pumpkin. 
So it's a really good and nice alternative if people struggle with heartburn or any other issues with tomatoes. It gives it a wonderful thickness as well. It really does, and a wonderful flavor. And so when you get to this point, once you're actually mixing up your pumpkin with the rest of your chili, you're gonna determine how much water you would like to add. Normally, I only add a can or a can and a half of water, and that's one of the bean cans that I would use again. Um, so only about a can and a can and a half is what I use. Now, because it's in the Instant Pot, which uses the water as part of the cooking, mm -hmm. do we need to add any more than we would on the stovetop for this recipe? Um, we could, but at the same time, you can also mix in a, just a little bit more water at the end. If it's not if watery it's, enough? Okay, yeah. it makes sense. So I'll do about one and two thirds of a can. I like to be the voice of questioning for all the other people out there that don't know how to cook. <laughs> So now we're going to give it a good mix, and I think that's a good looking viscosity right there. I think it looks great. I want to eat it right now, but I know that that would not go well. No, it wouldn't. So now we're going to take the lid, place it on the Instant Pot. Ooh, it's really singing. It's singing at me. <laughs> Aha. Okay, we're going to make sure that this is back to sealing and not venting. We're going to come down here and we're going to press the bean chili button and we're going to let it go for the 30 minutes. And it will automatically go on. And now we wait. See you in 30 minutes guys. So now, the moment of truth. <laughs> Looks wonderful. Let's go ahead and give it a good stir. Oh, it looks like the consistency turned out really well. Yeah, consistency came out really nice. Ooh, it smells good. Oh, it does smell really good. Yeah, I think I'm really happy with how this turned out. The consistency came out really well. There you go. Pumpkin chili in the Instant Pot. Too easy. Add a little sour cream, a little cheese. Oh, I forgot how good Enjoy. it is with, that, with sour cream. Yes, and we have sour cream. What?